Mm -mm -mm. Let me see if I can. Pardon me, y'all, while I'm figuring all of this out. In the meantime, how are y'all doing today? Malaikum salam. Hello. Uh, do, do, do. How am I feeling? I'm feeling amazing. Let me... I don't know why. I might have to go out and come back in and adjust some settings or something. I'm sorry, guys, but just sit tight. I'm going to have to adjust some settings so that I can accept her invite so that we can go live together and come back in. So it'll be just a minute. <laughs> you know what? That escalated quickly. <laughs> you you didn't miss anything. It did escalate quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It was like a two week thing. Like it happens like with a span of two weeks. But and yeah. You know, and you know what? That's probably why they want us to hate this so much is they don't want to see how influential and how powerful it is yeah. to hear the messages that they have to share. <laughs> exactly right. Like I um and I'm speaking. I, from this was not the plan. <laughs> It was I'm just to like learn about, leaders. you know, so Islam don't... and everything to fight Islamophobia. And then I was just yeah. like, oh my gosh, it's anti-capitalist and feminist and all the good things. So, oh, oh, Right? So what yeah. are we doing? What are we doing? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, thank you for taking the time to do this with me. I appreciate it. No, thank you for everything you do. So for those of y'all who don't know, I'm going to let her introduce herself in a second. But Jacenia is a longtime yes. activist. Um, I, she probably has 17 years plus like me, like <laughs> she's like a lifelong activist and she, um, created one free community, which is like a mutual aid focused community and just has partnered with barter up for those of you mm -hmm. who barter, um, my previous organization barter for our future, which might make a return. It's just not and I'd be happy to help with that. Yeah. <laughs> It might come back or it might not. We will see. But um, just just very um, forward focused as far as mutual aid is concerned and dis uh, the disabled disability community rights, um, which brings us to today where we're going to discuss uh, for those who are um, COVID conscious and can't go to in-person um, protests or maybe for those who have disabilities. I have, I have my own account, Nurse Spicy Networking, and then in the process of existing as a, and learning about neurodiversity, along with, you know, disability justice, print the 10 principles of disability justice include cross solidarity movement, cross solidarity um, action. So in, in that vein, we've been working towards creating this online presence 
um, it's a mutual aid. We call it a digital third space or a di or an online community center. Mm -hmm. And our goal, like it's it's evolving, right? And it depends on how many people show up and what they do here. But uh, it's evolving into like what we want to do is network with all of the organizations that exist out there. There's there's a group of twenty people over here and a group of ten people over there, and they're doing amazing work, but they don't have the capacity or the money or the funding or anything to do to have an online presence. And so what we're trying to do is create like this network so that we can send people to the right places. So you could join our community or you could just come to our community, get the resources and go to the, the community that more benefits you. And so that's kind of the end goal. And we're slowly getting there and we're all neurodivergent or disabled. We're queer, we're people of color. We're all, all of the things, all of the rainbows. And, and the, the thing that we say in our community is that we want to make sure that we're centering the most marginalized voices. So that's always most like the center thing that we're doing. And in that effort, we actually have been actually Jay, who I think is in, I saw in my um, comments here, reached out to me and was like, Hey, I'm looking for a way to protest. I can't go in person. And I was like, I totally get it. I can't either. Either financially in excess, it's an inaccessible. People aren't wearing masks, although people are wearing more masks now, which is exciting. Yeah. Um, but like seeing how you know you can be for the cause, but if you're not wearing a mask, are you really for the cause? Because you're not actually taking care of the community. Mm -hmm. So it's just really frustrating. So I've been living in hermit mode for, and many of us disabled people have been living in in quarantine for our entire lives, and the people just got a taste of that for a little bit. Mm -hmm. and to imagine that and then you know society not allowing you anyway getting off track so this virtual protest <laughs> no it's still on track it's still on, on track, track. <laughs> so this virtual protest was i was like trying to find a way where we can take the the masses of people that show up to a live like yours megan i, I think the last time i saw a live of yours you have five thousand people in your audience i was like if we could harness those five thousand people and all do something at the same time like yeah. how powerful can we be right and there's a lot of ideas being thrown around and there were some some, so we tested this out um, last week or the week before when there was that national walkout day, mm -hmm. think November 9th. And I did it in 24 hours. I was like, let's just throw a Zoom meeting together. Let's figure it out. I know by the time I saw your video, it was done. <laughs> 500 people signed up. I thought maybe 30 people would sign it because our account is being suppressed. So we're not getting, right. we, we used to get viral videos every week and now it's like, you know, 20 views or whatever. So, mm -hmm. um, so now we got 500 people show up and I was like, we, I was, a Zoom can't handle 500 people unless you have a business level, like enterprise level account. And so, uh, you know, and we don't have any money. We're just doing this all volunteer work. So the, right. we uh, we reached out to Calling Up Justice and Calling Up Justice was kind enough to set up a stream, a Twitch stream. And we had 500 people in the Twitch stream. And so <laughs> it was amazing. And then we had a discussion. My goal was like, we have all these people who are activated. Let's start talking to each other. That's mm -hmm. where the magic is, right? Um, I can't solve everybody's problems, but the problem to every, the, the solution to every problem is always going to be the same for me. Community, right. community, community, connect to community. That's going to be my answer to every problem. Yeah. And so like, what I want to do is connect all of these people who are activated to do something right. Not only like, yes, let's like, let's share, let's comment, let's make phone calls, but we're all doing it in this still in this very individualist way. Mm -hmm. You're not doing it as a group. You're not doing it as a community. And then if we can all coordinate our actions, how much more you know effective can we be? Yes, we're sharing viral videos about go get five calls. I saw your video of five calls. Amazing. And I was like, yes, it's amazing. But what else can we be doing? We do a little mm -hmm. bit more, right? And of course, this is within the capacity in, in the disabled community. We call it spoons. So look up spoon theory, or if you're more even more interested, uh, universal cutlery theory, which it's it's a whole funny thing. It's great, but um, <laughs> that's the, our energy capacities, right? So we always have to do it in with with that in mind. So. Mm -hmm. Um, the idea that I wanted to pitch to you is if we could do one of those virtual protest activations with your audience, where we would go and all of us go to a account of a person who's in person 
and just blow up their account, right? We're gonna send them a ton of love. We're gonna moderate if they wanna give moderation tools and whatever. And then we can do that for five or 10 minutes and then go on to another protest. Like we find lives that are happening. Oh, after. so live protests like on TikTok and everything. Yes, it's like jump yes. from, from So we from, find a live that's right. like someone's at the, and I know that there's a lot of suppression tactics at lives, right? Like they're not taking, they're, they're blocking cell phone signal and people are saying, don't bring your cell phone to, to a protest and there's like all of these other things to consider but occasionally you'll see one and you're like oh that's a live happening right now in in august in, in san antonio or whatever mm -hmm. so we all go to that person's live and imagine having going from 100 to 5,000 people all of a sudden showing right. up at your live like that's going to boost that that signal mm -hmm. so that's the idea right and then we can yeah, that was the, the the first one was meant to be let's do that for a little bit and then we're going to have a discussion and like break, do breakout rooms by region and then everyone like let's talk and share and say oh i know this organization over here and i know this one and we all kind of live somewhat similarly together and let's like all focus our energies and that's where we left off so i okay. kind of like, this is still emergent it's still coming like to fruition and i would love to hear ideas from the audience and ideas from you <laughs> So I love this idea. I think it directly involves because I, I think that it's very um, it's it's kind of like a uh, FOMO, like just just uh, a fear that the disability community experiences all the time because we see all the footage time. of these protests and we like the disability community just is not able to to not access it or be or participate in it yeah so i love the idea of someone being live at the physical protest and then just inviting the at-home community to join them i would also love for this to almost be like a live series where uh we could focus on like in-person protests and, and jumping from protest to protest uh but we can also for because there's a lot of new activists now mm -hmm. like like gaza activated a lot of the it's the awakening i love it yeah it's it's beautiful it's <laughs> beautiful um but i would love to have like a a live workshop where we are just showing these young activists here's how you write a letter a physical letter to yes. to congress and and take it to the mail or drop it at their office directly um mm -hmm. here's here's how you can have letter writing parties mm -hmm. um, if you can be in person if you can't be in person you can have virtual letter writing parties and and, and write these letters um and and send it off in the mail or you can write emails or um you can make you could have the the uh similar to co-work like virtual co-working how everyone is on um video together but they're yes. making calls and and yes. everything at the same time you could we could absolutely do, on mute of course because that would be a <laughs> yes <laughs> that would be overwhelming but um yeah so i i think there's a there's so many possibilities that can come from this i absolutely love the option of just really centering people at home because that's where oh we lost you Do, 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 do. Jessenia will be right back. <laughs> but oh, I didn't think it was gonna it was gonna throw me out of the app. But I, <laughs> you were talking, uh, I was like, oh, keep talking. Okay. I, I want to show I you something. Like elevator music, like the do, 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 do. like just <laughs> yes. I wanted to show you something, but keep going, keep going. Yeah. So uh, that's. That's all I pretty much have to say. I think we can definitely make this because this will be, and that's what people in the audience um, have to realize. This fight is going to be lifelong. Like even yes. after there's a resolution in Gaza, there are so many conflicts happening around the world that this fight is lifelong. Um, and so it's, it's we a marathon, it's not a race. Right, it's a marathon, not a race. And you have to be comfortable with the realization that a lot of the fight is not going to be for things that you see in this lifetime. A lot of the fight will be for future generations. A lot of the fight will be for just changes that, that may come that we might not be able to see. And I think that's what we're, we live in, like instant gratification times. And I think that people get um, activism fatigue when they can't see an immediate 
yes results of protesting yes. or well, we like they get their first loss responses. yeah they get their first loot like loss yes. Yeah. where they protested, 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 and politicians made the opposite decision anyway. And yeah. those hurt. Like, don't get me wrong, y'all. In the mm -hmm. 17 years I've been protesting, those hurt a lot. Yes. But, like, to be an activist is to have such thick skin that you, not, you might not always have the time to grieve those losses mm -hmm. or grieve mm -hmm. the fact that you might not be able to see these changes in your lifetime. You have to hop back in and just keep the fight and going. This is why community is so helpful exactly. because you community care and that's going to keep and sustain you through the movement. Yes. I wanted to share, this is a screenshot of, um, I just learned how to do this from Calling Up Justice, amazing, right? The TikTok did like, this is a movie we were screening and that's me watching the movie while it was playing live. This is in TikTok. So you can see like the TikTokers like commenting. So this is how we could pr potentially project. I can set it up, you join, we do this and then we do this TikTok activation. Absolutely. And you're gonna have to show me how to do that too. Like, oh, you I love that. This is for everybody. I can make this a whole event where I teach people how to set this up for their lives. Absolutely. That it's would all be beautiful here we're not we're not gatekeeping that kind of stuff period and I'm, not, I'm just gonna switch to the one free community um this is the flow code page so if you want to yeah, yeah. join us if you want to get involved if you want to sign up to show up um get notified you can come to our page and then click the links for activation and i want to show you one of the things in our community that we've been doing we have a channel for um free palestine and people have been sharing resources and links and i was like we need to share this with other people. So we have a list of all the different resources that have been shared to the community. Um, and there's BDS and there, this one right here is the list of all of the protests that are happening across the nation. So you can always keep up to date with what protest is happening and where. So we can even like try to reach out to content creators and be like, hey, um, you're in the city. Are you going to be at that protest? Can we come bomb your life? Can we can we help you? Yeah. <laughs> <in this way? laughs> No, that's wonderful. So yes, so y'all who are in the World Religion Book Club that is on Discord, um, One Free Community is also on Discord. So you can absolutely follow um, or join One Free Community and it will be just right there on the list, right mm -hmm. under uh, World Religion Book Club for you to, like if you're if you're only in World, World Religion Book Club, it's very easy to go from server to server. Mm -hmm. So um, if you join One Free Community, there's just tons of amazing stuff in there and just people doing all the best. And then, and then today, later today, I'm going to do a Discord 101. So if you're not familiar with Discord, but you want to get in, I'm going to be walking a newbie, Jay, who helped me pr produce the first um, virtual protest. I'll be walking um, them through using Discord, like how to get in, how to use it, how, what does it look like? you know, best practices, things like so that. So what time today are you having the Discord 101? That is today, later today, but I'm not going to go by memory, 5.30 p.m. Central. Perfect. All right. Excellent. I think we have, uh, so we'll be in talks for when, like, of course, we're going to do the virtual protesting and jump from protest to protest. And for the people in my audience, I'll let you know ahead of time, both in the book club and I'll probably jump on live and say it's happening now. Let's jump to whoever's page. Yeah. Um, but we'll also, Jacinia, you and I will also be in touch when uh, we want to do like activism 101 live yes. or if, yeah. if we want to do those different workshops live as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And we can it, use that setup from before, right? We can use yes. that setup. Um, which now has disappeared from my page. <laughs> but I want to share one more plug before we go. Okay. Um, this is an idea that I had speaking to Jasmine Sherman. Do you know Sh Jasmine Sherman, the Unicorn Party? She's running for president as an ind as an independent. And I've um, seen her. I have not. I, I you know, um, I'm trying to connect to all of the independent parties to like get involved with whatever they're doing and see what we can do to support each other. So in that conversation, I was like, I have this idea. I want to share it with you. So I'm just going to jump the gun and share it with it with you anyway. And then maybe they'll support it. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But with all of the protests, like boycotting is a is not a boycott until it's a boycott forever. Like, I don't know why people think that boycotting is until this thing, like that's if you're, if you're striking, striking is right. until we get our, 
our demands. Exactly. Boycotting is that's it. We're done. You mm -hmm. genocide. We're done with you. Right. So exactly. Make, make Black Friday red. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of Period. stories and lies about the story of Black Friday. The 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 prop the 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 accepted story now is that it's supposed to be when profits go from the red to black. That's actually a cover up story for a more racist background. Um, but mm. you know, there's only so much that you can find out on the internet to see. Like, there's so many conflicting stories. I don't know which one's true. But mm -hmm. I decided to go with this one because it's the most popular one. And we're gonna say let's let's keep them in the red. Yep. In the red. Go to the go to the link in our bio to BDS and and boycott these companies that they have listed. And let's only and oh oh so this is the thing I'm doing. In our link tree, it's not on this one because there's an old picture. I've created a form for people to sign up and tell us like about organizations, groups, or what what have you, whether it's local or online, to tell people tell us where you go to to subvert capitalism right you're not going to buy things now we're going to get them from i have a house full of stuff i want to give away and i don't know anybody in this area to give it to i would love to be able to give it to people so um same thing there's places like free cycle there's places like um uh auction ninja there's places like mutual aid groups like ours one free community there's places like barter up there are so mm -hmm. many organizations and i want us to like send all of them to one place so that people can go and find and sort so i made a simple yeah. form it's six questions and it's going to be just open to the public so it's not vetted it's not sorted but you can sort and then hopefully we can start collecting a list of places and ways to get things without having to spend money oh I love you so much. <laughs> You're doing such beautiful work. But yes, so for those who want to go beyond the big three, as far as boycotting is concerned, if you already have Starbucks, McDonald's, and Disney done with, you, that that's easy, easy pickings um, and you're ready to dive into the other companies as well, click the link in um, Jacinia's uh, bio. Is, bio. Is it in your bio? It is. Yes. Perfect. It's in, it's in my bio. It's in, it's in the OFC bio as well. One Perfect. Free Excellent. So where it says BDS, click that. It has a list of all the companies that you can boycott because we're going to boycott all of them for life. That's right. And that hopefully makes, um, makes things easier. And do we have, have a list going and it, it's fine if we don't, like, I would love to help put this together, but do we have a list going of alternatives? Like, yes, that's what this is. That form is so oh, that wonderful. people can submit, oh. submit that list and make that list as a community, right? So, oh, oh perfect, perfect. Yeah, perfect, yeah, yeah, perfect. yeah. Yeah, and I have, I have like a little diagram. I didn't get to finish it before now, but I'm gonna make a little flyer, like give gifts, uh, get crafty, buy secondhand, go to your Facebook, local Facebook groups. I know I don't use Facebook. I hate Facebook, but it is where a lot of people <laughs> are right now. There's a lot of the free cycle and buy nothing groups are in Facebook. So yeah. Um, but if we can find alternatives, if you know them, the, the the organization that I set it up is like, is it local or is it online? And then if it's both, you can still fill out the whole form, but it gives you opportunity to tell us like what region in case that's helpful for people. Or this is international. Our community is international. So it might end up being that we do this and support people and then you can sort by. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm in what Texas, so I want to sort just by the Southwest. So I'm going to find just the things that are near me kind of thing, that kind of thing. But um, this is exciting, and this is just the beginning, right? Like, oh, who is that? <laughs> that was Boots Boots. Oh, um, excuse you, you sir. Hello. I'm like, oh, let me boop you. <laughs> <laughs> he just decided, he was like, hey, mom, what you doing? But anyway, um, so perfect. Okay. So, oh, thank you so much for coming on live and sharing all these gems and, and information. Thank you. Um, thank you. So uh, we will keep an eye out for the first in-person protest that's coming up. I'll look at the calendar and see if I have any mutuals that are in that area that are going. Yeah, um, exactly. There's there's one coming up this Friday. Um, it's supposed to be another walkout and then a bunch of cities are doing it. So if you want to try to pull it together before Friday or, or for Friday, let me know. We will talk, you know, so we can figure it out. But if it's this um, Friday and something one of them is happening in Chicago, I might be able to go to that. Ooh, ooh, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> We're gonna make this happen. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for sharing and thank you for all your work. And congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So yes, everyone follow Jasenia. She's doing phenomenal, uh, f phenomenal, phenomenal work with One Free Community and all of the sister communities as well. Mm -hmm. um, and oh yeah, I, and I we have see. our website, onefreecommunity.com. So if you, Ooh. oh, that's what I was, I was trying to remember what I wanted to say. So the suppression on our accounts are so bad that you click on the link, it doesn't work. So if you you could either long press and open in browser to get out of TikTok and then it'll open. Um, and that's the case for all of the people whose links don't work. This is because it's it, I've been blacklisted on TikTok. So the suppression or, or like happens so fast too. Just from like one of yesterday's videos to today's, what like some of my followers have been like, I don't see your videos anymore. And I'm just like, I don't Yeah. Yeah. So it tracks. I'm make some more TikTok videos. I'll send them your way to boost it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you to your audience. Uh, you know, your 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 comment section. Oh, oh, I love it. I'm just so happy to be there. It's so loving and welcoming. <laughs> I love it. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So have a great day, everyone. I have to get back to work. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you again, Jasenia. Everyone, please boost Jasenia's page, like all of her videos, comments, and everything. So to get her out of that shadow banning yeah. shell that she's in, <laughs> just boost, 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 boost. But I'll talk to you later. Bye. Have a good Bye. day. You too. You too. You too.